Right. Right, Di, thanks for um, letting us come and uh, interview you about, about your house, uh, your flat, and, and uh, what problems you perceive, uh, perceive with uh, living here. Can you just give us your name? You Diane. just Diane. Thank you, Diane. Um, Diane Walsh, yeah. um, I'd like to ask you, first of all, has getting older changed for you in any way? Yes, it has. It's made me realise that um, I can't do the things I did 16 and a half years ago when I first moved in. I haven't got the same mobility. I have now developed um, uh, asthma, bronchitis and angina, which I didn't have you know, when I first came here. It, so in hindsight, what changes would you make? Um, I would listen more to people who'd say, my sister, what about long term? Never mind the beautiful big flat and the views and good area, good residential area. It's not really suitable for a retirement property. Yes. Uh, can you think of any changes that would help to avoid elderly people from moving out of their own home and into a care home, for instance? Um, I can give you a good example. I had a gentleman down here um, since died. He was very fit when he moved in, but he gradually got more, more, more and more arthritic. He just couldn't manage the stairs, and they wouldn't put a stair lift in, and he ended up going into care. Yeah, okay. Um, there was no pull cords. There were quite a few times the police were called for his son because he'd fallen, and there was nobody there to help him. And you don't have any pull cords in no. this flat? No sort of emergency? system at all yeah, apart from your phone. phone. The chap down below is 87 and he's had falls and ended up in hospital. Um, so he just has his mobile phone. Okay. This flat is a housing association it flat indeed, which yes, you yeah. rent from. I do, yeah. yeah. Um, as, you, uh, as you downsize, for want of a better word, from a house, uh, do you think you made the right choice? Coming here initially, um, it was great, and then uh, I began to realise the pitfalls because I was only shown the good side, of course, when I moved in. To give you an example, I had a flood here of my washing machine, and I had to run down three flights of stairs and nearly took me over because the kitchen was getting flooded, and there was nowhere that I could turn off the water. I had to go down to the cellar. And uh, this is why my gas check recently, it doesn't meet current standards for the same reason. They said if there was escaping gas, there should be um, a stop cock here to turn off the gas. If, if you had to make a choice between having care at home or moving into a care home, which choice would you make? Having care at home, definitely. You would. Yeah. Um, is there anything you could change or add to your home that would help you cope better? Um, I, think change, I, <coughs> I think the pull cords would be a good idea, providing it was somewhere not in another city, um, if there was an emergency. We do have um, an out of hours <coughs> if there's anything that happens, but that's in Leeds. Did um, do, you fi do you feel that the housing association that owns this flat uh, serve you well? Uh, they sometimes well, they try, but because everything is from a distance, it is difficult. We did get a letter um, a few years ago saying they're going to close the property down. It did not meet the needs of older people, um, but then there was a great big hue and cry over this. The ones down below went to their MP, they had a campaign, and they said it'd give us an extra five years. 2019, they're going to assess our future. Well, following on from that, do you have problems uh, within the flat that you think the Housing Association should address? I think safety problems in the fact um, not being able to turn off gas, water, electricity. Um, my boiler was in the bedroom, combi boiler. The, the gas people say that's okay. Um, I suppose, uh, Are the problems with the building itself? 
Well, I've had damp here and I've had to move out. Um, they rectified that and then five years later, the wall broke down again, so they had to redo it. And you can smell the damp in here. Now, now this is quite a personal question, uh, mm. which you don't have to answer if you don't want to. No. But is your income less than your overheads? Um, no, not really. I can manage because um, I'm out a lot. I go out to stay warm actually in the in the winter. Uh, so you, you don't feel as though uh, it's causing you any stress in any way. No, I can manage financially. Yeah. We had a rent increase recently, but only twenty five pound. Okay. Um, I think that's it, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I think, um, mm -hmm. I don't think there's any... Oh.